Hey everybody, welcome back. This week we're going to go ahead and finish up the cooling uh, as, far, as much as we can and then we'll get on to some electrical. So let's get to it. All right, here's my rear cooling plate. Um, just got a little compressed air here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where the leak is right there. So um, these these are new. So I think why it wasn't why it wasn't sealing before is essentially the last kind of places I had tied down were here. So this is kind of a a lot of unsupported or uncompressed space. So I added those. I'm going to go ahead and take everything apart, add a new uh, layer of the silicone sealant, put it all together, test it again with compressed air, and if it still leaks, we'll just abandon this and go with something else. All right, I got this guy put back together. Um, took quite a while to get all the uh, kind of silicone off, all the sealant off, but got it all off. Put a new bead on, tightened everything down, um, put on some new connectors. I think potentially one of the reasons why we kind of failed last time is the silicone I think is supposed to cure at at least 65 degrees. And I just had this in my garage and I don't think it ever got close to that. So I think that might be one of the reasons why we struggled a little bit, but it might be something else. Um, so we'll, I've tested this with air. Um, I think I mentioned that, but up to about 20 PSI. So we should be good, I think. So I will go ahead and remount this and plumb it, and we will hope for the best. All right, I have it mounted again. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect those up with my new tubing. Um, I've also got a flow control that will match the uh, diameter of the new tubing. And so I'll start with it off, um, with it turned off, and then uh, we'll make sure I get the whole rest of the system is going and debubbled. And then I'll slowly turn this one on, make sure it's working, and then same thing with the front. All right, I've taken all the uh, cooling plates out and now I'm gonna go back here and essentially, let's see, where is it? So I'm gonna put this T just right behind the pump and then that'll feed the cooling plates up front. Um, I've got a uh, some, essentially some flow restrictor valves that'll work with the large tubing and so, my thought was I need to get all the cooling set so I can get the batteries set. Once I get the batteries set, then I can kind of test all the voltages, uh, start to um, connect them, and so forth.
I was able to, I got a new kind of bypass hose because uh, before I had a T there and I wanted to move the T to after the pump. So it's got this going all the way around to here, kind of the surge overflow tank, and it comes into here. So from there it goes out and there's the T. So right now I've got it turned off, but essentially I've got two types of uh, the tubing. One is kind of a little more firm, the other one's pretty soft. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use, but essentially from there I'll go into this battery pack. And because I don't, I don't know that there's room inside the battery pack now with the size of holes I've got or the size of tube I got. So I might have to just do all the T's and stuff in the back and then have them come into the battery pack. But uh, yeah, we'll kind of see how it goes. I'll need to, so this was kind of the previous one. I'll need to drill some holes, add some grommets and yeah, we'll see where we end up. All right, so I got some holes drilled, uh, grommets in there. We'll see if that works. Um, essentially, this is how it's kind of sit in the car. These ones will go out um, the back through those grommets. Um, so I'll put tubings, uh, put tubings on over those. I've got some T's and so forth, but it will all go kind of back behind here. So it'll be a little tricky getting everything set up, um, but we'll go ahead and put the, uh, I guess let's see, first we'll put the back on, um, put all the batteries and and things kind of in place. We'll, we'll, we'll slide them out so we've got some room to work. Then I'll put all the uh, tubes and things on through the grommets and get everything cinched down. And again, this one will start with it kind of closed or off. And then we will test all the system and open this one up, open the back one up, make sure everything's working. Fingers crossed. All right, so there's just not a lot of access um, back here. Uh, trying to get all the tubes connected and point in the right direction. Um, here's hoping that I measured right, that uh, all those plates will line up and I can just plug them in. But yeah, all the hoses are, all the tubes are connected. So again, that's the uh, control valve there, or I can adjust things. Um, it goes into, I've got it teed off, so all these bottom ones are tees, um, and then this one, and then all the tops are teed off, but those are the returns, as well as this one. So the return, um, if you can see it, but basically it goes down to that one there. So, comes out from the pump, goes into all the bottom, comes out all the top, and goes back over there. So... So the last thing I have to do is the uh, radiator. So I'm thinking before I fill everything up again and debubble and do all that stuff, um, I need to put in the radiator. Radiator. Uh, I just I'm missing a couple brackets in order to mount that. So um, I think I'll push pause on this for now. Um, I may clean up a little bit of the tubing in the back. I haven't connected anything back there, so I'll do that and. Then we'll go on to some electrical. All right, I got the uh, rear section here all plumbed as well. So again, comes from here, this is the cool side. I've got that uh, flow control valve, so it'll come up, I don't know if you can see that. Comes up and around, 
goes into here, hopefully no leaks, comes out and around and back down in there. So that'll go back to the radiator side. So, um, as I mentioned, we'll probably wait to, till we get the radiator mounted to fill it up again and debubble. So that'll be probably another week or so. So in the meantime, we'll go on to uh, electrical. All right, um, I am now getting ready to mount the BMS units. So I haven't quite decided, but I'm thinking what I might do is just uh, mount them to a piece of plastic like this. I've kind of just traced where the, uh, essentially where those, the frame is. So those are places where I can mount to the uh, frame and then I can mount, if I wanted to, all the various BMS units. I think that's what we're going with, but uh, we're still kind of in the planning stage, so we'll see. All right, I am starting to wire the BMS units uh, one to another. The each, like, so this is the master, and it's got a, essentially one output here, so uh, it communicates out to the next one, which has the input, but it also has the next one for the output, and so on and so forth. So they each have these uh, connectors, and essentially just two wires. I'm doing twisted pair, and just gonna connect one to, one to the next one. So I'll continue doing that and uh, show you when it's all wired up. All right, this is gonna be my uh, box for the BMS units. So uh, I've got all these kind of bolted down. I'm now gonna go see about putting it in the car. So we'll see how it goes. All right, I got all these uh, wired up and everything. The only thing I kind of forgot or need to make access for is, so these guys um, are what, uh, allow it to communicate with the computer. And so it plugs in back here and it's not quite enough room to kind of sit there. So I gotta have a hole in the back to uh, plug this in. So I can go ahead and drill that and then I'll see if I can't get it mounted.
Okay, that's all the time we have for this week. Um, we were able to kind of get all the cooling, uh, bigger hoses, bigger tubing, um, rerouted everywhere, both front and back. Got the uh, battery box somewhat put back together here and uh, it's ready to test. The other thing we did is we got the uh, BMS mounted up there and we're starting to work on the more electrical. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week we'll get uh, more into the electrical. Hopefully have that uh, high voltage enclosure kind of complete and ready to test. Uh, then we'll see how it works with the Tesla unit. We'll probably do more troubleshooting, but we're getting really close to uh, getting that motor spinning. So I hope you liked it. Please consider subscribing. See you next time.